Hello, welcome back to Booking Gaming. Hi! I'm Travis. I'm Eric. And I am still sickly, so oh. the girls may sound a little different. That's okay. I'm going to try to avoid sniffling and sneezing as much as possible, but we'll see. Welcome to the, the pen, penultimate. Yeah, well, there's I think be the penultimate story. but Storyline. It's part yes. one. So Self still love. Got a few episodes. We got a little uh, spat between Natsuki and. Yuri. Yeah, and they're gonna learn how to get over it by masturbating. By self love. Yeah. With books. Well, and, I mean, I guess if you're into that. And pens and watch, all the like. Watch out for paper cuts. Yeah. Yeah. Gross. Here we go. Yeah. We, we go. Doki doki doki. doki. <laughs> oh. Okay. Oh, right. Okay. I'm trying to remember what happened last time. That helped. It's only been one day since Yuri's letter was delivered to Natsuki with Monica's help. Because Yuri chose not to attend the club meeting that day, she and Natsuki haven't faced each other since. Although it's only lunchtime, Yuri finds herself anxiously counting the hours until she will need to face the outcome of her efforts, whether good or bad. We'll just look straight ahead and you'll never see Natsuki. And because the passing by of students was making her feel even more anxious, Yuri picked out the most secluded spot she could find to spend her lunch. She's just it's in, the roof! Just in between two vending machines. <laughs> yeah. what, are, what are you doing there? Because of this staircase back there in the background is yeah, under right. maintenance, she, no student would have any reason for coming here. Nobody wants something from the vending machine? Nobody cares about the bake sale or the soccer right. tryouts? Oh, God. <laughs> it's such a relaxing feeling to have a moment of solitude in the middle of a frantic school day. Ah, yeah. Jesus Christ. Eep. What are you doing here? I'm eeping. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I just... Uh, Yuri grips her book with enough force to wrinkle the pages between the pressure of her thumbs. Oh my god, that's why you read hardback. <laughs> well, what, what are you doing here? What are you <laughs> doing here? I just came to get a drink from the vending machine. See, uh, the vending told machine! You, called it. The other one is out of the, out of the drink I like. Oh man. Yuri notices Natsuki fidgeting with a few coins between her fingers. She nods, avoiding eye contact. Natsuki also looks away, shuffles over to the vending machine. It's so quiet that every one of the movements seems to reverberate through the entire stairwell. After far too long, she finally receives her beverage, which she then fidgets with in place of the coins. Finally, sustenance! <laughs> it's some kind of iced tea. She's doing that thing where she sticks her nail under the pop tab and just flicks yeah. it and it's just tink, tink, tink. <laughs> <laughs> but instead of leaving right away, Natsuki just stands in place. She glances all around her. It's like way too quiet back here. It's creepy. I mean, that's not what I meant. I mean... It's totally cool, like, it's your thing or whatever. Like, I can see how it sits you, so... Because you're creepy. I mean, oh, God, no! <laughs> Not because I think you're creepy or something. I didn't mean that either. <laughs> you know, I'm just gonna stop talking. It seems like a good idea. It's okay. I am creepy. Everything is... Okay. Everything is okay. <laughs> Everything is fine as long as you're okay. As long as you conform. <laughs> 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 Yuri, I mean that is the point of that song. <laughs> finds herself attempting some words of comfort after hearing Natsuki stammer herself into dejection. Seemingly in response, Natsuki approaches the base of the staircase and hesitantly sits herself down near Yuri. Well, I can leave if you want. But you just sat down. <laughs> Yuri shakes her head. Natsuki twists the cap off of her drink and takes a sip. Ew, I don't want tea. Despite receiving Yuri's general permission. Natsuki doesn't say anything more. She just does that really annoying thing where she goes, ah, after every drink. <laughs> Yuri continues to read, or at least pretends to. The end. <laughs> and the two just sit there for a long time. The tension seems to fade a little bit as time passes. Even without any words, this seems to mean at least something, though it's not clear what that may be. They can kind of stand each other. Great. <laughs> Lunch ends more quickly than expected. Natsuki is the first to stand up with her empty drink bottle. Are you coming today? To the club? Yuri nods. I'm sorry for being so awkward. Yuri nods. I'm really, <laughs> I'm really bad at talking about this stuff. Yuri nods. <laughs> I just can't for some reason. I don't know why. But I went to, eventually. There's no rush. I promise. Thanks. All right. This Yuri is nods. <laughs> <laughs> It's the next day. 
Natsuki appears from around the corner and steps up to the vending machine, glancing at Yuri as she does so. Today she seems to be holding some kind of book as well. Oh my gosh. Oh, you're here again. I wasn't stalking you or anything. <laughs> well, I just came here to read this because there aren't any people around here. Oh, uh, well, I thought you didn't like how quiet it was. Well, I don't, but there's no people here. I'm a people. What the fuck am I then? <laughs> I, I see. Natsuki sits down. The mood feels much different today than it did yesterday. Yeah, there's music. <laughs> After yesterday's lunch and the club meeting that followed, Natsuki and Yuri are beginning to feel more relaxed around each other again. It really seems like it. Right. Although Yuri's letter is still lingering in the back of Natsuki's mind, she continues to detour around it. Uh, but it's okay that I'm here? Yeah, I don't care. I mostly just don't feel like dealing with the crap I get from my friends about it. Especially since, like, they all just assumed I stopped reading manga after I joined the literature club. Not that I'm trying to hide it from them, exactly. But I'm trying to hide it from them. But I just don't <laughs> want it to come up again now that I've already waited so long for this new volume to come out literally months at this point. You don't have other friends who are into manga? Not unless online friends count. Of course they don't. <laughs> <laughs> just like online girlfriends don't count. Oh, I guess. man. If they are, what? Wait, can't say why, but that's different because she's not exactly into it. She just likes it, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. She's just trying to simp for me. Honestly, you're lucky that the books you're into at least just look like books, so you don't have to feel like everyone is constantly judging you by what you're reading. Just, like, hide it in a book? Hide the manga inside there a book? There you go. Cut out a cut out a book. Cut out Mein Kampf and just... Yeah. No one will judge you for that. Right. That would be so awful. Especially since I already hate attention so much. Well, it's a good thing I have this thick skin, I guess. By the way, I totally recommend finding some friends online if you haven't already. If you're like me, no one would share hobbies with. They're super cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I have an online boyfriend. Have you ever been to Gaia online? <laughs> oh, I have online friends. <laughs> I have an OnlyFans account. <laughs> <laughs> Fansly. Since uh, middle school, actually, I was especially desperate back then. It's somewhat embarrassing to reminisce about those days. I actually play Neopets. <laughs> yeah. I had an AOL girlfriend. Oh, yeah? <laughs> Yeah. I had a online girlfriend when I was like 11 or 12, I think. Yeah. I mean, it was just one of those fake things. I don't even know. Yeah. I was probably DeviantArt, honestly. I, I think I met mine on Gaia Online. Yeah. Because I used to be It was be Mellow online. Yellow because I started drinking Mellow Yellow because of their name. Weird. And I was like, ooh, okay, this is good. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks. That's the extent of that. She changed your entire life. Right. Or he. Uh, yeah, probably. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like the me from a few years ago would have benefited from a good smack across the uh, face. Face. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was waiting for it. Oh, whatever. We were all just stupid kids back then anyway. We're adults now. Some of the fanfics I wrote, thank God I used a pseudonym. <laughs> I, I read adult mangas. <laughs> <laughs> My pseudonym was Iku Stan. <laughs> but I liked it at the time. I got a lot of fulfillment out of it. And plus, I can look back and say in confidence that I've become a better person since then. My fanfics are way better. <laughs> so I don't think I could change anything. People really, really like Sonic and Shadow. <laughs> <laughs> Do you know I, what a Chaos Spear is? I wonder if a few years from now we'll think the same thing about our current selves. Ha 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 ha, probably. That doesn't make you uncomfortable? No, of course not. I don't care what other people think of me, especially someone who doesn't even exist yet. Um. <laughs> Alright, here. Natsuki raises her hand to her face and forcefully slaps her own cheek. Oh yeah, that's the stuff. Oh god. There's people from the future coming to terms with me right now. Also, ow, I didn't mean to do it that hard. Yuri doesn't seem to react. She would like that. But then, to Natsuki's surprise, Yuri shyly looks the other way before lifting her arm and doing the same thing. <laughs> Just smacks Natsuki. <laughs> <laughs> Loudly smacking her cheek. I actually have this knife here. Maybe we can <laughs> use this. No! She turns red and stares into her lap, but is unable to hide a smile as though it was a really funny joke. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know you had it in you. <laughs> that's what I'm talking about. <laughs> that's oh, super hot. I, I don't. I, I don't even know why I did that. Maybe I thought it would be funny. Sorry, I, I keep distracting you. Uh, you said you were looking forward to reading, but I keep going on all about all this nonsense. And I'm this. the one doing all the talking. I'll let you get to your reading. Oh, right. Yuri nods. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I can do that then. <laughs> the conversation ends quickly, and Natsuki opens her book. Blip, 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 blip. noises, reading noises. <laughs> the two read silently for the remainder of the lunch hour, but the whole time Yuri feels distracted by a twist of regret over having so abruptly forced the end of their conversation. The next day. You're back! A dinosaur story. 
<laughs> Get him here to lay low again. Another day has passed. During lunchtime, Natsuki finds herself having wandered to the stairwell once more. Hey, did you buy that? Natsuki quickly notices a bottle of iced tea on the staircase where she normally sits. Yuri nods. <laughs> 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 Avoiding eye contact. What, like for me? No, I just didn't want you to sit there. Yeah. But you didn't know I was coming here today. What if I didn't show up? It's reserved for a friend. Well, I just, uh, I mean, I would have drank it myself, I guess. There's just another girl shows up with pink hair. And she's like, hey, thanks, friend. Best <laughs> yeah. friend. Oh, this is awkward. It, it was a stupid thing to do. No, it wasn't stupid. I just thought, never mind. What I meant to say is thank you. And that's a really nice gesture. It's, it, it's okay if you don't feel that way. I do. There's the other things that I didn't mean. I swear, please believe me. Mm. Yuri pauses, then, then nods. nods. <laughs> 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 to switch it up a bit. Oh my gosh. Talking. Uh, talking is, is hard. I, I get it wrong a lot, too. I'm better at nodding. Me, me words bad sometimes, so I believe you. Natsuki exhales in relief. She then sits down next to Yuri and takes the drink. Knowing Yuri, she was probably overthinking it so much that Natsuki's uh, tepid response filled her with self-doubt. I'll do something nice for you next time. Please don't feel obligated. I want to. I want to do nice things too. Okay. Thank you. You can thank me after I figure out how to do something nice. I'll do it then too. Uh, That's it. You already did it. <laughs> Natsuki sighs. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I mean, it just becomes like a rivalry over who can be nicer. <laughs> right. They get angry about that. <laughs> just reminds me how I haven't been getting along with my friends lately. Is is that why you've been coming here? Well, no, not exactly. I haven't been avoiding them on purpose or anything. They're just other things I'd rather be doing during lunch lately. Like drinking tea and not eating lunch. <laughs> I like being around them whenever we're all just having fun, but they just can't take anything seriously. So when I'm, I don't know, feeling serious, then their attitudes just really get on my nerves. It's only gotten worse ever since I joined the literature club. How come? I don't know. I feel like I used to be really good with just putting up with it, because it would be so stupid to cause drama over a joke I didn't like or something. But I just have a hard time doing that lately. But it's my fault for being overly sensitive. If I have a problem, I'm not going to demand for everyone around me to change. But! Yeah, I know. But I can say <laughs> I really don't agree with that kind of thing. They suck. Let's not talk about them this whole time. <laughs> but they're not in my position, so it's easy for them to say that you should just communicate your feelings or whatever. They do that stupid after-school special thing, and I'm tired of it. It's not like my friend group does that kind of thing. I would just like to be making an embarrassment of myself. Sorry, none of this has anything to do with you. I don't know why I'm talking about it. It's okay. I like listening. What? Listening to other people's problems? Well, no, not quite. <laughs> yes. Ha 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 That's weird. Bitch. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> I, I just like learning about people. Do you think it's weird? No, that's not weird. I probably just been misunderstood, so... I don't know. Doesn't mean I should keep going? If you'd like. Okay. Well, I don't know what to talk about now. What are some things you like about your friends? Their tits. A lot of things. Their tits. <laughs> <laughs> You're in odds. <laughs> I mean, they're really fun to hang out with, like, after school and on the weekends. And they really like my baking. And it's fun to complain about school together. They make me laugh a lot, and we have a lot of good memories and inside jokes. Oh. oh. Inside jokes. I love them. <laughs> I can't wait to be a part of one someday. <laughs> I'm bad at a lot of those things. So? Are those things... Are, are those all things that are important to you? Well, kind of. But they're not things I need to get out of everybody. Everyone in the club is really different from that. But I'm still friends with them, too. Well, Sayori really likes your baking. And she makes you laugh. And she complains a lot. That doesn't mean she's anything like my other friends. Well, unlike them, she's a nice person who cares about your feelings. She's also really dumb. Excuse me? <laughs> How about you don't talk that way about my friends that you don't know anything about? Jesus. Oh, jeez. Natsuki stands up. No, wait. I I'm sorry, I didn't mean it. I didn't want to say something bad. Please don't leave. Uh, mm. I'll buy another tea. <laughs> <laughs> Fine, but only for the tea. <laughs> Natsuki sighs and shakes her head. Oh, one of them nods, one shakes their head. They're so different. <laughs> it's Vertical <fine>. and horizontal. <laughs> They'll never get along. As long as you understand that you can't just judge people like that. I'm sorry. You were just doing that. Natsuki sits back down. You can't just compare friends like that and, like, measure who's better than who. Everyone's different. Yeah, Beam's better. I'm sorry. I just... 
uh, 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 I just don't like people who want to hurt you. Eh. A moment of silence stretches between them. <laughs> they don't want to hurt. Wait, they don't want to hurt me. We just like to tease each other about stupid things. It's fun. I don't like that. Well, that's why I'm friends with them and you're not. You like it? Uh. Just don't worry <laughs> so much about me. <laughs> <laughs> it's not worth it. I'm sorry. I wish I knew how to help with social conflicts. Like how Monica can. She just she says random shit. She's good at these things. She just talks about cherries all the time. Yeah. Really. <laughs> also, I don't always want help. Sometimes it's just tough to deal with myself. That's what Monica and Sayori never seem to understand. Just say those two special words that every woman wants to hear when they're complaining. That sucks. Yeah. <laughs> sometimes all you do is look at them wrong and they're all like, oh, what's wrong? And every Is everything okay? I just want to mind my own business sometimes and decide myself if I want to talk about things. The only one who understands that is you. So you really shouldn't be so hard on yourself. You're not as bad as you think. Oh, y you don't need to reassure me or anything. I know how awesome I am. <laughs> I mean that. <laughs> Plus, it makes sense that someone who doesn't take a talk a lot would make a good listener. Uh, I'm sorry, what? Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> You're also nice. You're always nodding along to everything I say. I love <laughs> it. It's really hard for me. It doesn't come naturally at all. It's so weird because I thought myself as someone who can just say whatever's on my mind. But I feel like it only works when I'm annoyed or upset or I want to say something mean. Why am I like that? I don't know to answer that. I'm just talking to myself. Yuri nods. <laughs> and remains silent. <laughs> Granted. <laughs> Natsuki notices her fidgeting with the pages of her book. How come you like reading so much? Oh, um, well, a lot of reasons. But I just get sucked into it so easily. It's so immersive. Like I want to be a part of it. I think there are a lot of things about people in real life that make me feel uncomfortable and frustrated. Especially when it comes to following social conventions and group interactions. I just don't really understand it and I have no real desire to participate. People are stoop. <laughs> but it's different with books. It feels like I always want to be around the characters. Especially Legolas. <laughs> I feel such a strong emotional connection with them in ways that I've never felt with real people. It's weird. I've always felt more connected to Gimli. <laughs> so, in that way, it can sometimes feel more real than real life. Really? No. No. Is that hard? What, why am I British also? Uh, <laughs> it's, wait, it's that hard for you to be around people, like, all the time? Mm, fairly often, especially in group settings. When people are making all kinds of conversation and saying jokes and all that, I don't know what to do, and I just disengage well, just do, or nod. Do that awkward thing where you're not actually part of the group, but you just, like, stand outside the friend group circle and, mm -hmm. like, laugh along like you're part of it. That's right. That's not awkward or anything. <laughs> Does not get lonely? I don't think so. I have all my character friends. <laughs> I can still enjoy spending time with people one-on-one, -on -one, and I have online friends too, of course. They're actually friends online, they just don't know it. <gasps> oh, That'd be amazing. It's not. Your Poon Master 69? <laughs> <laughs> Obviously. <laughs> do, you ever, do you ever wish that you could be friends with the characters in your books? All the time. Especially Legolas. Especially Legolas. <laughs> <laughs> Something so badly that it makes my heart ache. Yeah. Sometimes so badly. Me too. Really? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Hud has bondos. <laughs> A lot. <laughs> like, more than anything. After Natsuki mutters that, the silence fills the stairwell once more. But it's a mutual silence. Just One thinking about waifus and husbandos. Fully of understanding. Wow. Okay. That was just a weird. That was quick. Yeah, it was just a bunch of like short conversations in a stairwell. Right. So they both just want to live in books and they, be yep, friends with both, fictional characters. Yeah. They both have a different version of escapism. I feel so attacked right now. Yeah, I do it with anime. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> I want to be the Madoka Magica. <laughs> I want to be a Maguka. <laughs> I want to be in high school of the dead. I no, I be, don't. That's I want to be time. a magical girl. Well, doesn't everybody? Yeah, I'm, well, I don't, I don't think so. I know. It's one of those things where it's like, yeah, if you could press a button and turn into a girl, everyone would do it. Actually, they wouldn't. Right, no. You're weird. Shut up. Yuri nods. 